of the red hot chili peppers. We had to get to the chili peppers eventually, didn't we? So, it's quite a, a, a funky rhythmic thing, and it's going to require a slightly clip sound. So it's not completely clean, this. There's a little bit of bite in there. Um, I'm going to go nearer the neck with my uh, pickup choice, and it's going to require quite a lot of muting from the left hands, which is going to be the curvature of the hand, the way that we're going to curve our fingers, it's going to kill some strings in between so we can kind of strum it. So what we're going to get is this. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the 7th fret on the A string and then I'm going to get 7th fret on the G and I'm going to go up to the 9th fret of the G. So when I'm doing that curvature of my index finger is killing the things I don't want. That's what I get. I'm getting percussive sounds. So the first bit is 7 on the A, 7 on the G, 9 on the G, but with a more kind of a strum feel. Then we're going to hit the open D string, which is kind of easier to do because you're only working across two strings. Then we're going to come down to the seventh fret on the low E. So we're going to hit the low E seventh fret, and then seventh fret on the G and the ninth fret. And then I'm going to get the eighth fret on the low E. Which I'm using my second finger and kind of helps a bit more with the, the muting. So you're getting. So as a quick riff, this is. I know what's going on with the right hand and the articulation is being done by the squeezing of the left hand fingers in the rhythm and the curvature of the fingers so whilst note wise this is very simple you can get to get that feel it's more to do with your right hand being fun sort of funky and, and, and constant but anyway can't stop by the red hot chili peppers <laughs> 